From VOA Learning English, this is the Health Report. Electronic medical records are not only for wealthy industrialized countries. A test project in southern Africa suggests that using computers to store medical information may also be a good idea in poor countries. Electronic medical records have been used for about 10 years in Malawi to follow the progress of patients with HIV. Now the program is being expanded at Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital in Blantyre. The program is called SPINE, Surveillance Program of Inpatients and Epidemiology. It has three goals. The first is to collect basic information about patients' medical problems. The second goal is to look for changes in the health of all patients with HIV. The third goal is to help individual patients directly. Patients receive printed information when they leave the hospital so they understand how to take their medicine and what they should do. This information is included in something called a health passport. It replaces handwritten instructions that patients received in the past. The electronic information gives health officials new tools to deal with outbreaks of disease or other health emergencies. Still, there are barriers to using electronic records. It takes time to enter information into a computer. Also, electricity often fails, and so do computers. And it costs about $200,000 to start an electronic records program. The United Nations Global Strategy for Women and Children's Health has a goal of saving the lives of 16 million mothers and children in 75 target countries by 2015. The target countries have been directed to include electronic records and other information technology in their national health care systems. For VOA Learning English, I'm Mario Ritter.